The people have spoken, and after hundreds of votes over many elimination rounds using posts on my channel, the community has picked the best Battlefield 1 map of all time. I want to talk about some of the matchups and upsets that surprised me, but first, let's get the winner out of the way. The best Battlefield 1 map of all time and winner of the elimination series is... Argonne Forest. Argonne Forest knocked out heavyweights like Ballroom Blitz and Verdun Heights to claim victory as the community's favorite map in the game, and I admit I'm a little surprised, or maybe <laughs> I'm really not. Argonne Forest, as you most likely know, is, besides having an armored train, an infantry-only experience that provides tight, claustrophobic, and extremely linear lanes of deadly close-range combat. Besides the train track that runs down the length of the map, sight lines are very limited and teams can easily lock down paths with some well-placed gas, explosions, and machine gun fire. In short, this map is an absolute cluster Prior to the release of Fort Duval and Achibaba, Argonne Forest was the singular infantry only map in the game and I have a confession to make. You know, I see this map winning best map in the votes, the perpetually jam-packed 24-7 metro and locker servers for Battlefield 3 and 4, and honestly, I don't get it! I will never understand the absolute love that these meat grinder maps get within the Battlefield community. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoy them as well at times in a mindless sort of way, and I think Argonne Forest is one of the better designed ones, although I personally prefer Achibaba, but you guys are just obsessed with these maps. I admit, it's really satisfying to finally break through a seemingly unbreakable line, or get that sicko mode flank and back cap, or blast enemies from behind. <laughs> but I personally only enjoy these maps in short spurts. Definitely not hours within these 24-7 meat grinder servers. What hooked me on this franchise all the way back to Battlefield 1942, and what keeps me coming back time and time again is the massive, epic, large-scale mixed infantry and vehicle combat that only Battlefield can deliver in the way that it does. Massive pushes or defenses onto points, mad scrambles to plant a bomb, jets and helicopters screaming overhead, tanks doing a deadly ballet as infantry scramble for increasingly diminishing cover. This is what I love about the series. And many of these moments just are not delivered for me in these smaller infantry focused maps. However, there's something definitely to be said about a tighter, more focused experience, such as the maps and modes of Bad Company 2, which can create some of the most intense moments in FPS gaming. Now, all that being said, I'm not upset that Argonne Forest won. It's an absolutely gorgeous map that captures the beauty, horror, and atmosphere of Battlefield 1 in a stunning and historically significant location and battle. The forest was captured extremely well, and I think the layout and overall flow of the map, for being as linear as it is, works really well to add to the claustrophobia and makes for some very engaging and intense gameplay moments. So well done Argon Forest, you earned it. Now let's chat about a few upsets that surprised me. Again, given how popular infantry only maps are, I was surprised to see Fort Duvo knocked out early by Soissons, although that is another gorgeous map that creates some of the most striking visuals in the game. So maybe I'm not hugely surprised. Amiens though, a map that I've widely seen be considered the best in the game, was knocked out in round one, but to be fair went up against our grand champion Argon Forest right off the bat. I admit it's really not the best comparison with Amiens being a larger map with more combined warfare, but still an interesting upset as I feel Amiens captures the true spirit of Battlefield better than the World War I equivalent of the Lost Woods. I was really happy to see St. Quentin Scar knock out Giant Shadow and Foul Fortress and make it all the way to round 3 before being beaten by Ballroom Blitz. Blitz is an awesome and unique map, but St. Quentin Scar to me captures all of the elements I described earlier perfectly in the most iconic map layout and aesthetic in the entire game for me. When I picture Battlefield 1, I picture St. Quentin Scar. This map has it all. Tanks, trenches, close combat in the central town, plenty of long range sniping opportunities, planes and the airship dogfighting above. It is the quintessential Battlefield 1 map for me. Operation on St. Quentin Scar is one of my favorite experiences within the game, only really challenged by some of the incredible DLC maps. Overall, it was really interesting to see how the community voted, and I really enjoyed running the polls. Let me know if you voted, if you saw the winner you wanted, and if I should do similar polling for other aspects or maps in the series. Honestly, this is why I started the channel, to have some awesome community engagement and interest in a series that I hold near and dear. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and that's it for me today. Until next time.